In this video, we will show you how to replace your fuel injector gaskets. Let's get started. Okay friends, it's time to get started on our job. The first thing that I need to mention is you're going to have to get underneath the front of the vehicle, so make sure you're in a safe location and in a way that you can get underneath it. Once you've done that, make your way into the passenger side of the vehicle. Right up front, underneath the glove box, you're gonna find this little sticker. We're going to remove this trim panel. To remove the trim panel, you'll find two Phillips head screws holding it in place. Remove the pair. With that out of the way, you can find this gray connector. This goes to your fuel shutoff. Disconnect this, and then we're gonna to attempt to try to start the vehicle. It's gonna crank, it might even start up, but then it's gonna stall right out. Give it a quick check for corrosion and set that aside. Once you're sure you've evacuated the fuel pressure from inside the system, make your way back under the dash and reconnect this. Listen for a click, give that a tug to make sure it's secured. Continue on with your trim piece. Get that rubber seal back in place. Continue on with your two mounting screws. Open your fuel door and remove your fuel cap. Use some compressed air to clean any debris from along the top and front of your engine. Let's make our way over to the negative battery terminal. Loosen this 10 millimeter headed nut just enough that you can remove the negative battery terminal from the battery. Set it aside so it's making no contact. Let's move in to disconnecting each of our fuel injectors. For the fuel injectors, you're going to find on the passenger side, there's a squeeze tab. Squeeze it in, lift it up, give it a quick inspection and set it aside. Now we need to make our way along the back side of the engine up to the firewall. Just underneath your windshield cowl, you're going to find that you have a fuel line that makes its way up to this little blue connector. For the connector, along the front and the back, there's a little lip that you can grab onto, gently pull it away, and lift up at the same time. This will be easiest if you grab both at the same time, pry them away, and lift it up. Once that's lifted up, go ahead and set that aside. Once you have the blue tab out of the way, you're going to find that you have a press tab right under here. To squeeze on this, you can either use your fingers or some skinny long nose pliers. We'll grab onto this, gently squeeze, and it should want to break free. Once it does, carefully pull this off to separate it. Now let's follow that line on top of the engine here. You're going to find a plastic clip that holds this in place. Let's lift this up and out of its position. Now we can continue on to removing the fuel rail from the top of the engine. Now we can start removing the fuel rail from the top of the engine. To do that, 
we'll use a 10 millimeter. With the bolts out of there, we can continue on by wiggling around our fuel rail and trying to remove it. It's commonly going to be stuck inside of the engine because it does have O-rings holding it in place. While you wiggle it and pull it up, it's possible for the rail to pull off of the injectors. If that happens, fuel could come out. Just keep that in mind. Once you have the fuel rail lifted up, inspect the bottom of each of the injectors. Make sure the O-rings are still in place. Now we can remove this entire thing from the top of the engine. Set that aside. Now that we have the fuel rail off of there, we're going to replace the gaskets on all of our fuel injectors. The process will be the same for all. We'll show you on one. To remove the fuel injector from the fuel rail, you're going to find that you have a clip on either side of the injector. These clips are attached to the injector itself. To remove these, use some long nose pliers and gently pull the tab away from the fuel rail. Once you do, you're going to tug on the fuel injector itself and try to pull it away from the fuel rail. Once you have one side broken free, do the exact same thing to the other. Let's pull that off of there. So as you can tell, one of the gaskets came right off. Typically all you do for this is just peel it right off and away from the groove. You'll notice that the one that goes into the fuel rail is the blue. So to replace that with the brand new gaskets, we'll replace it with the blue gasket. Slide that in place. Once you have that in place, continue on to the far end. Remove that gasket and replace it with the black one. Wipe this down. Slide the black gasket in place. Now that we have both gaskets replaced on this, we can install it in the fuel rail. Okay friends, let's put the fuel injector into the fuel rail. For this, we're going to gently slide it in place and then try to lock in both of the tabs by pressing it in. Listen for a click from both sides. Give it a tug to make sure it's completely secured to the fuel rail. At this point, the process will be the same for all. Let's install our fuel rail. Slide this right through. Align all of your fuel injectors with their corresponding holes in the engine and press it down into place. There we are. Let's get this back on here. Continue on with each of your fuel rail mounting studs. Start these in by hand. We'll bottom them out and then torque them to 18 foot-pounds. Reconnect each of your fuel injectors. Get our fuel line reconnected. Press that in. Listen for a click. Give it a tug to make sure that's secured in place. Once it is, continue on with your blue locking connector clip. Let's press this into place. 
It's time to reconnect your negative battery terminal. We'll put that down onto the battery, press it down as far as you can, and then tighten up your 10 millimeter mounting nut. Reinstall your fuel cap, close the hatch. Okay, the next thing that you wanna do is double check everything. Make sure all of the electrical connectors are connected in, and of course the fuel lines are connected properly. Once you've done that, go ahead and start up the vehicle. Let it run for a little while, come outside, and double check to make sure you don't see any leaks of any sort. Assuming there's no check engine light, take it for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.